Hello cool ass, it's Pablo here and welcome back to Barca Universal. Welcome to my match review of Granada nil, Barcelona 4. Barcelona gets a big away win, an impressive performance, loads of impressive individual performances in there also. Before we go any further, you guys have probably noticed already, the upload time was a little bit later than usual. I was actually lucky enough to be given the opportunity to represent Barca Universal on the official Barcelona YouTube channel for their live coverage of the game. I came on a little bit during the first half, just before Griezmann's goal. I came on a bit at half time as well to talk about Lionel Messi, and I'm also going to be doing some post-match analysis after the game also, which you guys would have been able to see on Barca TV Plus if you have it. That's just a little heads up there as to why this preview, or review, sorry, is a little bit later than usual. But let's start with Ronald Koeman's team selection. It was exactly as expected an hour before kickoff, but actually about five minutes before the, we had the game actually kicked off, we had to make another change in defence. Piquet's injured, Longley suspended, and now Ronald Araujo injured in the warm-up. And this was a bit of a head-in-hands moment. I think we can all agree, before kickoff, we were certainly feeling, God damn it, because now we have to bring him Titi in, who it's fair to say, last year or so, he hasn't looked good at all in a Barcelona shirt. But to be fair to him, Titi, he came in late. He hasn't played football in ages for us. He's looked shaky when he has. He comes in next to me get that. And he was absolutely outstanding. The rest of the lineup worked to an absolute T. We're finding combinations now that are working excellently. Excellently, you look at De Jong in that pivot role, Busquets. Um, or oh, sorry, Busquets in that pivot role. De Jong as the interior for me that works really, really well. Pedri again. He had a quieter game today, but again, he ticks things over in there. Ricky Puch off the bench also did a really good job in that left interior role. And then you've got the likes of Griezmann, Dembélé, and Messi up front. And I think right now all three of those guys are playing on top of their form. And when all three of them are playing on top of their form at the same time it becomes very easy for Barcelona we look a real threat in the final third a real force and this was an excellent victory but the game didn't exactly get off to the best of starts I think we were all already nervous going into this game we know how good Granada are they're a very strong team especially at home and they came in with real intensity they played excellently before Griezmann got his goal and they probably should have been one nil up a really good save by Tostegan early on and that is what can win you matches at the, at the end of the day we were looking for Tostegan to make big saves in this sort of game and I certainly felt we did that today that one in the first three minutes is absolutely crucial and it looks like oh we've won four nil now but if we go 1-0 down in three minutes, what would the full-time score be? That's what you guys have got to think about. So look, to Stegen, amazing save there. That was absolutely crucial because Granada had started the game well. But like I said, Barcelona did take the lead in the game. It's actually Antoine Griezmann who gets a really important goal for himself. And this was certainly an odd goal. I don't think any of us could really celebrate it properly. At first, they gave it as offside. It's Busquets who tries to play a 1-2 with Messi following a short corner. It deflects off Soldado into Griezmann, who, yes, is beyond the last defender. But the pass from Busquets is going nowhere near Griezmann. It's Soldado who deflects it into Griezmann. Of course, it makes him one side. VAR agree. There was a little altercation between the linesman and the referee. They both agreed, look, this is a clear goal. It's completely fair. The Granada players, of course, you know, they would be unhappy about that. I think throughout throughout the game, they felt a little bit hard done by. But for me, this was an easily correct decision by the referee and the VAR team. And Barca lead in a really important game. And that's absolutely crucial. And I really did feel after we got that first goal that we got in our rhythm once more. We just look such a dangerous side in these last few weeks. We really do. If you're looking back at some of our earlier performances this season where it just looks so dead, so boring, so uninspired in midfield and whatnot, it's a completely different Barcelona now. And like I said earlier, I think we are now finding the right combination. I thought everyone put in a really good performance today. And Titi and Minguez at the back were excellent. I thought Dest and Jordi Alaba certainly did their jobs at fullback. Busquets, for me, had one of his best games of the season. When Busquets plays well in that pivot role, football becomes a very easy game. De Jong and Pedri in their interiors. De Jong, in particular for me, absolutely outstanding. He was relentlessly winning that ball back. Having Dembélé on the right also, guys, is I think a massive relief for everyone. It's his favoured position. When you've got Messi in that centre-forward role, anything can happen. And Griezmann off that left is working to absolute perfection, full of confidence. Really impressive performance from him. And Barcelona got their second goal from, again, really good football. The ball is won back by Busquets. It does hit his hand for sure. And you know what? To be fair, Granada will feel hard done by about that, but apparently with the new rules, it's they say play on. To me, yes, it hits his hand, but look, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's right to give handballs with stuff like that in football. You know, the ball, it does hit your hand whilst you're playing. That can happen. To me, I just say play on in those sorts of situations anyway. But again, the goal was given eventually. It's actually Busquets who gives the ball to Griezmann. And he starts within his own half on the left-hand side. And the moment he gets the ball, I'm thinking, roll it into Messi. Then let Messi take it forward. But to be fair to Griezmann, he waits, he waits, he waits. He pins that Granada defence back. He's even looking to Alaba on the left-hand side. But then he actually decides to pick up Messi in the perfect spot 
just when Leo is close to the goal. The first touch from Messi is brilliant. The shot is to perfection to the top corner. And Barcelona have a two-goal lead at Los Carmenes, a really hard stadium to go to, and an impressive goal for Barca. And of course, we got the third just before half-time. This time, it's a Lionel Messi free kick, his first of the season. Another genius shot from the Argentine, and he really is on red-hot form right now. I don't know if it's the players around him, the elevation of the team, the man management from Ronald Koeman. You could certainly pinpoint it down to a lot of things, even the rest that he got in holiday uh, over there in Argentina. I think that was certainly crucial to how well he's doing right now. But his free kick is absolutely wonderful. So often we see free kicks. There's too many players in the way. There's not enough space to get it over the wall and back in. You know, there's even players on on the line sometimes but this one he lashes it low and into the goalkeeper side and puts Barca 3-0 up at half time I, I still think at 2-0 the game is there to be taken I honestly don't think Granada played that badly at all they're a very competitive side maybe they got hard done by I just want to really give credit to Barcelona today I thought we were superb we were absolutely outstanding and that third goal from Messi there for Barca Wow, what a goal. We came out there to the second half. Granada actually made quite a few changes, really. They brought on a few players at halftime, players like Luis Suarez, Vallejo came on also. I think they wanted to, you know, change the intensity of the game. You saw Luis Miao also get a bit of an appearance there in midfield. He's a very good young Spanish player. Uh, and certainly the first five minutes of that first half, they would have been looking to see, look, can we get an early goal? Can we make this nervy for Barcelona? But we dealt with that very well. I want to, again, give credit to Titi. I thought he was outstanding on the night. I really did. Um, he's a player that... I've often given a lot of stick to, certainly in recent years, whenever I see Titi play. He just hasn't looked ready. But what we saw today was so odd, because Titi, of all games, you think, of course he's going to be play, play badly today. But he came in, and he looked like 2017 Umtiti. He was absolutely outstanding in there. The calmness, the balls at the back, the reading of the game, the way he dealt with attackers, chesting it to a centre-back partnership. Him and Mingetha, absolutely outstanding. Mingetha, again, is someone who, as a young Barca centre-back, looks like a real talent. Then you've got Umtiti next to him, who I don't think any of us were expecting this performance from. Wow, well done, Big Sam. But as that second half went on, you were expecting a more stretched game. Granada was certainly leaving gaps here and there. We made a few changes as the half went on. But before any of that happened, guys, we got our fourth goal. And this is a wonderful goal, yet again from Barcelona. It's Griezmann who scores it. It's initially a ball out from Busquets to Dembélé. The chip from the wide Frenchman into Griezmann is wonderful. The touch is exquisite. And the shot from that angle on his right foot on the half volley into the corner is really, really outstanding from Griezmann. It's prime Antoine Griezmann, the sort of goal he would have been scoring in 2015 in the 2016 Euros. It was genius from Griezmann. And having him on hot form, having Messi there, De Jong, Pedri, even Busquets today who played well, Dembélé playing this well, stretching defences. Barcelona become a force when all this happens, when all this clicks. And that's where Granada, Granada can feel hard done by. Same goes for Athletic Club. We're clearly improving. Koeman's clearly getting his messages across to the team right now. And that's just all positive for everyone involved. I thought we were outstanding today. And that fourth goal was wonderful. And just after that fourth goal was when the changes actually started. We have got a lot of games coming up, like I've been drilling home. A lot of hard ones too. And hey, we've won our first three guys, which is absolutely wonderful. But we have got the Super Copa coming up. We've got a Sociedad admin week in that. If we beat them, which will be a hard ask, that's a really good team we're up against. We will be facing, I think, Real Madrid in the final. They'll have to be Athletic Club first. But you'd expect them to beat Martellino's men. So look, we've got a lot of hard games coming up. Messi was the man rested, as was De Jong, with about half an hour of football left to go. So that's really, really good to see. Once we're falling up, I always say, why not? We made a few other changes as the half went on. Dest got some rest. Um, you also look at Martin Braithwaite, who came off the bench there. So did Miralem Pjanic. Uh, so we've got a lot of players in there as the half went on. Also, you look at Ricky Puch, who came on there and gave Pedri some rest. You know, a lot of players got rested there. Dembele is another man who I haven't mentioned. He came off at it in Cal. Uh, so yeah, look, lots of changes for Barcelona. Lots of players rested. That's crucial for the upcoming weeks. The rest of the game, look, not an over amount, not an over amount of chances to talk about. Vallejo was actually sent off for Granada. Braithwaite was about to score. I was really impressed with Ricky Puch off the bench. He's always a player who understands the Barca game to perfection. Some really good touches from him. Really good inventiveness, especially in that final third. That ball through to Braithwaite to trigger the red card for Vallejo was really impressive. You saw Pjanic come on to good minutes for him. Uh, some odd yellow cards, by the way, from the referee, Burgos Bengoshea. He let He dished out some really weird yellow cards towards the end of that game, but... We're not going to be suspended from them, thankfully. But that was all there was from today's game for what was a really, really good game. I think I've pinpointed everything I want to talk about, individuals, how pleased I was from Barcelona today. I just think that's a big statement win. I, I said that before the game. If you can beat Huesca, beat Athletic, and then go and beat Granada all in the space of six days, three hard away games, 
that's super impressive. To do that, and then to do it in the manner we've done it in, is wonderful. We've got our first three consecutive wins in La Liga, and who would have thought it, guys? They're all away from home. Barcelona looking really, really good right now, and this was an excellent day at the office. I'm sure all of you guys will be really pleased with this. We go into the Super Cup now, which for me is a competition I really want to win. I want to see what we can do in it. I feel as if we're playing extremely well right now. The confidence is running through our team. If we can get some more players in, mix up that bunch, there's absolutely no reason why we can't go on and put in a really good performance in that tournament. And hopefully, guys, get a trophy. We didn't get a trophy in 2020, of course. Let's start 2021 with, a, with a, some silverware, guys. How good would that be for Ronald Koeman? It would give this squad even more confidence because right now they are brimming with it. And that is where I'm going to end this match review. As always, please let me know all your thoughts down below. It was an absolute pleasure for me to be able to go on and represent Barca Universal on the official Barcelona YouTube channel today. The stuff of dreams and a really dreamy performance too from Barca. Barcelona. So a perfect day here and I hope you guys really enjoyed it also. I'll see you guys very very soon. Lots of games coming up and the Super Cup is something that is going to be very interesting indeed. I'll catch you guys for the match previews and the match reviews for all of that sort of stuff. Until then enjoy yourselves and goodbye.